Hello there students, welcome to Teach Together Try. You're here with Mr. Burns. Guys, today we're going to look at the massive individual objects in collections. Sounds fun, I know. Try to restrain yourself. Guys, the learning objective is that the student, you, understands how to find the mass of a single object amongst other objects and amongst other like objects. Here's your success criteria. If, for example, a box of 100 nails, the same sort of nail, weighs 200 grams, you should be able to understand that each whale nail, each whale, each nail weighs about two grams. So that would be a success criteria. It's about how you get from here to here that is key. So let's have a go. Okay guys, welcome to the teaching phase here. I'm going to show you how to do it. If a box of 100 nails, 100 nails weighs 200 grams, how much does each nail weigh? Well, let's sort that out. I'm going to draw it out a little bit for us. So, 100 nails equals 200 grams. And I tell you right now, we're going to use a bit of division to sort this out. The trick is to work out what one nail equals, doesn't it? So we know that a hundred nails equal 200 grams. How are we going to work out what one nail equals? Look, we could just, you know, break it down and I might just do that. Let's, let, let's halve it. Let's go, well, what does 50 nails equal? If we halve a hundred, we get 50, don't we? So what would be half of 200? That would be a hundred, wouldn't it? So 50 nails equal 100 grams. Yeah, we could do it like this. Let's keep on going like that. What's half of 50? Well, that's 25 nails. So 25 nails must equal half of the previous amount, which would equal 50 grams. Okay, but we can only go by halving so far. A much simpler way would be at the very outset just to do this. If we just divided... Sorry, I'll get my pen back. If we just divided 100 nails by 100, we would get one nail, wouldn't we? So let's divide 100 nails by 100, which equals one nail. And let's divide 200 grams by 100 as well, which of course equals one, 200 divided by 100 would equal 2, wouldn't it? And that would equal 2 grams. So one nail equals 2 grams. Please rewind that if you're not sure about that. All I've divided is the 100 nails by 100 to get one nail. And then I divided, by two, then I divided 200 grams by 100 to get 2 grams. And why did I know to divide by 100? Well, I chose to divide by 100 because that is this figure here and I think that should help you let's do this one together guys and remember I like to draw it out so we'll be drawing it out right a box of 50 chocolates weighs 500 grams so that's 50 chocolates mm -mm -mm, makes me hungry equals 500 grams so we've got to work out what one chocolate equals how are we going to do that I'll give you a hint. We're going to do division. You can halve and halve and halve and halve again. But, yeah, that gets a bit complex. Why don't we just go... Do you know what we should divide this number by here? Have a think. I'll give you a hint. You should divide this number by this number. Okay? So, 50 divided by 50... 50 chocolates divided by 50 chocolates equals one chocolate because 50 divided by 50 equals one doesn't it you do this one you divide 500 by by what it's got to be by the same number what's 500 divided by 50 okay you do that yourself i'm not going to do it for you right i hope you worked out that 500 divided by 50 and it should be just a simple matter of uh going it should be just a simple matter of recognising that 500 is really 50 times 10, okay? So 500 divided by 
50 equals 10. You could have just done the sum, if that was confusion, you could have done uh, 50 into 500. And maybe that might be useful for you. 500 divided by 50 equals 10, 10 grams. And how I got that, if you want, I'll show you. If you, you want to forward through, just forward through. 50 into 500, well you can cross off the zeros straight away, thank you. And you go 55 into 50 goes, well, 10, doesn't it? Okay, that's an easy way to do it. So one chocolate equals 10 grams. You're doing one all by yourself. Here we are, guys. Welcome to the tri phase. A box of 40 biscuits weighs 800 grams. How much does each biscuit weigh? You're doing it by yourself. Pause me and have a go. If you're stuck, go and have a look at the other ones. It's exactly the same. And I do want to see this work in your book, obviously. Okay, so what you should have done, I don't know what that's all about. What you should have done is this. You should have gone right 40 biscuits. This is what I do. I write it out because mathematicians write things out. 40 biscuits equals 800 grams. And then let's change pen color for excitement purposes. 40 biscuits divided by 40, because we want to get it down to one biscuit, don't we? Equals one biscuit. 800 divided by 40 equals... Well, let's work it out. Sometimes I need to work it out as well. 800 divided by 40, cross off those zeros. 4 into 80 goes 20. 20 grams. So, one biscuit equals 20 grams. I wonder if you got that. If you didn't, don't worry. There's plenty of opportunity to practice in the work I'm going to give you in class. And there should be a sheet for you to get out the front and fill out and have a go at. Use this video to help you. I make it for you so you can rewind me at your leisure if you find that useful. Thanks for listening, guys.